Now as a wheel right, we're now at the bit that I quite enjoy. This is where we get to put the tyre on the wheel. Now the tyre we make deliberately small, it's about a quarter of an inch, that's six millimetres too small, um, than the wheel. And the way that we're going to do it is we're now going to put the tyre in a fire, heat it up in the fire until it's black hot, that's about 600 degrees centigrade, so it expands by about that much. And then with that we've got enough expansion that we can get it over the top of our, our wheel, get it over quickly, bang it down into place, and then we're going to pour lots and lots of water over it very quickly, and that's going to shrink the tyre in, and that's what's going to pull the whole wheel together. It holds everything together, apart from that there's no glue, there's no screws, it's all wooden joints, and then the strength of the tyre that's going to hold it all together, and that will keep it there forever. Pretty good. good. Now, an interesting byproduct of doing the fire today is that you remember when we cut the wheels out, we ended up with lots of little pieces of wood like this, which are no use to man or beast. So, what we do, this is talked to me by a guy I went to see in America, is that I put all of these in a steel box, which I made many years ago. And then when we finish with the fire, we put the box on top of the fire and we're going to heat all these up and we bake them. We bake them on the fire. This bakes all the impurities out of it and it makes charcoal. And it makes the most marvellous charcoal you've ever had because it's made from good quality English ash and it gives a tremendous flavour. So when you do have your barbecue at home, and I like to barbecue just like everybody else, with homemade charcoal you can't beat it. It gives the food a real flavour. <laughs>